Hi everyone, this is Durgesh and I'm going to explain you about uh, seed masking parameter in test data management. So uh, seed is a start number that enables integration service to return deterministic data. Uh, and you can uh, use this uh, seed for masking a date column, numeric column and string data types. <laughs> Generally seed value is used to generate a repeatable output. Uh, for example, uh, consider two tables, table 1 and table 2. Table 1 has cust ID column and table 2 also has cust ID column. So, uh, if the requirement is to uh, have the masked value in both the tables for the cust ID similar, then uh, we can set the seat parameter to a same value. So, and then we can see that the mass result for these two columns will be exactly same. So, uh, basically this helps us to uh, have a common values uh, for various data sets if the seed value is same. Uh, in this demo, I'll uh, show you how this works and uh, what all the configurations has to be set in TDM uh, to get the deterministic data after masking. So, uh, quick uh, bullet points uh, regarding the seed. Um, so, you can set the seed value in an individual masking rules. Uh, like in test data management, we have various masking rules. So, uh, you can set uh, the seed value in individual masking rules or uh, the test data management administrator can set a centralized seed values which will be used uh, across all the mappings and for generating the repeatable output. And uh, centralized seed value has been given high priority over the individual seed values. So uh, let me uh, show you the quick demo on how the seed value works. So uh, this is a simple uh, masking rule uh, which is used to mask the string data and uh, a type of standard. And uh, I am going to mask a SSN column. So, uh, under the masking properties, uh, you have a value called seed and repeatable output. So, when you go here, it will uh, shows, uh, it returns a deterministic value each time when the source and the seed values are same. So, the combination of source column and the seed value, if they are matching for uh, any number of source column coming for a particular data set, the value will be same. So, uh, I'm gonna show you a quick demo on that. So, we can check it. So, for that, uh, I have created a few tables. So, in this, I have created uh, some uh, SSN uh, numbers with the username for a sample SSN numbers and the sample names. I'll be uh, loading the data into the another schema and to see the results. Uh, so I have uh, a project uh, called uh, seed test where I have imported a uh, few data sources and a uh, few masking rules here which I have created for this demo and uh, so, so we can see uh, I have uh, two data sets one is uh, seed test and seed test 2 these are two different tables and so now we are gonna see uh, for these two data different data sets uh, the values uh, if the seed value is same so this the SN masked value for both the tables will be same and if I change the seed values and uh, assign a different masking rule then uh, the values will be different so uh, let's take a look how it how it works so currently there are two tables called seed test and seed test 2 and uh, there's a masking rule which i'm applying is test same seed both so here is the masking rule which i created with the seed value as 1 and uh, this is a standard masking type with a ssn for the string so uh, i'm gonna create a plan now so here i have created a same seed plan value and uh, uh, so this is the plan which uh, consists of uh, machine component the the same speed which you can see here uh, which i have created the c value as one 
and uh, so i'm gonna it so this plan will have uh, two data sets which is a seed test 2 and seed test which i have applied this masking ruler to the column ssn so let's uh, generate and see how it works so workflow is getting generated and uh, so execution is succeeded now so uh, let's have a look of the our source data so so for the seed test if i go for the seed test I have a couple of data so let's take the jack and uh, for C test 2 I have a uh, same SSN just for a sample SSN for the demo so basically uh, according to the seed value which we have assigned to the both the uh, columns of different table so the value of the SSN should be same in the target. So let's uh, check. So Jack has uh, the masked SSN value. And when I check for the Jacob in the two, So in the target, when I see for C test table, the jack has this SSN number and uh, for the Jacob, the SSN number is again the same. So with this, uh, having a same SSN number with the same seed value, the masking results will be same. So now I'll show you if, the, if I change the seed uh, value for both the columns and then uh, we'll see the masking values will also be different i'll show you that so now i'll be assigning a different uh, masking rule which will has different seed value in it which i'll show you here so this test different seed has seed value 2 whereas same seed will have seed value as one. So I am have assigned a different masking rule to different sets of table and have created a plan with uh, different seed values a plan where uh, the masking components are totally different. So I have uh, masking components attached to this plan. You can see. So now I'm going to generate and then execute it. So yeah, it's been generating. So it has generated successfully. Now it's running. So it has been succeeded. So now we can check the data, how it has after execution so the data sets will look like so let me query for the seed test okay so you can see uh, we didn't change the masking rule for the this particular set of table and so that's why the seed value was one and uh, the, the the value repeated again here for uh, jack so now we have changed the masking rule for uh, C test two ta table, which has a seed value of two, which is different from the masking rule applied to C test. So, so yeah, here you can see, in spite, so there is a different masking rule for this. In spite, uh, there are uh, same input value for same SSN for Jacob and Jack 
you could see there are two different mask values for same SSN number because of same seed values. Sorry, different seed value. Different seed value. Here you can see these are two different. So uh, the TDM administrator uh, can even set the seed value here central seed, central seed value. So once it is set, then for uh, all the workflows, this particular seed value will be used, and um, this will override the individual seed value what we set in uh, the individual masking rules here. So this ends the demo regarding the seed value. So for more details, you can get in touch with the Informatica support team or uh, you can go to the TDM help. Under help, you have uh, data masking and parameters and uh, you can get more information on seed. So we would love to hear from you regarding the videos at uh, supportvideos at informatica.com or you can get in touch with our Twitter account at infasupport. Thank you.